Uh, hello, friends. Uh, it's like exciting to be back with Dr. Ashish Narayankar. Uh, last week only we had a session with him and it was such a wonderful session. And I think let's ask Ashish what is his feedback and review on the session. So hi Ashish. Hi Sonia, how are you? I am great. I mean, after that uh, one week, I mean, we are seeing magical changes in our life. Oh, it's 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 amazing. I really, really first want to thank you first for having me on that platform last time. I think, you know, our target was to reach to so many people collectively. And I think it's worked, you know, because right after the session, I had messages from people like within 20 minutes and one hour of how magic had already started in their life. You know, the stuck money came through and, you know, they started getting wow. messages of resolutions. And the whole week till now, I've been getting emails and messages from so many people of the magic that's really started in their life. I think it was the power of so many people doing it together, just not the hope on open. And that's what I really wanted to bring it across. And changes were phenomenal, like people saying that, you know, suddenly in their job, they've got an appraisal and, you know, a, a new opportunity. And one lady sent me a message that, you know, her boss has suddenly become so appreciative of her work, which was never happening for such a long time. And small, small things, big, big things. And, you know, it, it's, it's magical. There's so many people who like dismiss this saying, oh, I don't believe in past life and all. But they said, okay, let me try this out. And two days later, they sent me an email saying that, oh, things have worked for me. So I'm going to do it for another one month. So okay. it's just that, you know, whether you believe it, whether you don't believe it, I would say, try it out, you know, do it for a month. And all those people, you know, who have been watching it now, and even if you see it after one month, if you see it after even one year or 10 years, it will still have a ripple effect because now, that is what collective consciousness is. And the more people watch this, the more it's going to affect their life positively. And you will keep seeing positive changes. So yeah, so I am so excited, Sonia. Thank you so, so much. Uh, thanks, Ashish. I mean, we are still having the ripple effect, you know. And uh, still not over the last session, but we are, you know, we are very uh, greedy and want to take more advantage of you. <laughs> So, in fact, uh, there were still more questions in my mind and uh, people are going through daily some challenge in life, you know, some or the other problem, be it relationship, money, career and so much, you know. So, what is the simplest way to make your life work? Okay, Sonia, that's a good question because, of course, everybody's going through something or the other, yeah. So, the first thing, you know, the last video that we did was at a spiritual level, you know, I mean... Yeah. At a, at a different level of consciousness where you can bring shift and change. But also there is something like in this reality, I always say there are these three steps that you have to do to change your reality. So if you're going through say a relationship issue or financial issue or any kind of issue in your life, yeah, a situation that is there, you have to primarily do these three steps. So the first step I would suggest is, you know, first you have to make that choice. Yeah. You have to make that choice to change your life. I know so many people who are going through difficulties for years, but they don't do anything about it. They keep cribbing about it. They keep crying about it. Yeah. You know, whether it's a relationship situation or a job that they're not happy with. Yeah, They'll come home, they'll keep and cry about it, but they won't make any other choice. Yeah, yeah. And that is, the, you know, one of the biggest thing is people have a lot of fears. Yeah, They fear a change. Yeah. They always fear that something will go wrong. Oh, I, at least I have this. So a good question to ask is, you know, if you're not, if you're trying to do something, but you're not able to change something, a good question you should ask is, what is the benefit that I have of being in this situation? Yeah, okay. trust me, you know, I see so many people, you know, putting out on their Facebook or Instagram, you know, of how sad their life is and how terrible, you know, their life has been and how depressive it is for them. But you know what they actually get is attention out of it. So she uh, said benefit. I mean, yeah. so challenging how it can be so, benefit. So, so a benefit is basically like, you know, some people, they, they, I won't say play consciously, but unconsciously, they're being the victim. Yeah. And, you know, victim of a situation, victim of even say a financial situation. But what happens is they always get some attention, some sympathy. There's always a flip benefit. Okay, like I keep saying, we create everything in our life. Even a disease is a self-creation. Now, why, why would you say, why would we create a disease in our life? Yeah, yeah. So I had this lady, you know, who had cancer. And, you know, I, and as I said, everything is a creation. And if you're not able to let go of it, it's because that thing is giving you some benefit. 
So when I asked her, okay, tell me one thing that has changed positively in your life after you got cancer, and she told me that you know what, my whole family started giving me a lot of love and attention. Yeah, everybody started loving me a lot, and you know, I've suddenly started getting a lot of care. Now this lady always desired love and attention in her life, and now is she going to let the cancer go away? No, because that the love and attention will also go away. So there's always a flip benefit, and it's a very unconscious. They are not consciously doing it. Yeah. So I had this lady. Another, you know, funny story. I'll say, she used to get battered by her husband, black and blue. You know, all the time. You know, husband used to beat her. She came for a therapy session, and after a couple of sessions, you know, things started becoming normal. The relationship started getting better, and after a couple of months, she came back again with the same issue. So you know, I was surprised that you know, okay, so what's going on here? So I asked her, you know, okay, what changed in your life? She said, no, everything was fine. My husband was absolutely fine with me, but you know, my friends started ignoring me when I started going to the kitty party. I had nothing to tell them, no stories to tell them, you know. Or <laughs> so they they all focus went on someone else, you know, and I started feeling neglected. So you see how unconsciously she started creating the same stories of her life, you know. So this is what I keep saying: if you have a story running in your life, ask what's the value of this story that I'm running. Whether it is financial story, whether it is a relationship story, that's not working for you. Now please remember one thing: you are the creator of your own stories, and the good part is you can change your stories. But first thing is you have to make that choice, yeah, and you have to make that demand. He come what may, I am going to make this change, and that's the first primary step. Not just talking about it, yeah. taking yeah. that action, taking that first step of changing the life. Yeah. Wow. Okay. The second thing that I will talk about is taking hundred percent responsibility for whatever is going on in your life. And as I said, and that is what even Hope Ono Pono was about, taking hundred percent responsibility. So I have a lot of people asking still about those questions about you know karma. So I thought let me just explain you out here. So what do you mean by taking hundred percent responsibility? That means any situation that is going, you can't put the blame on something else. a lot of people they go to astrologers they you know they wear tent and rings thinking that is what is going to change their life they keep doing a lot of puja i knew this guy who used to keep investing into so much of pujas but her life life was still the same he was in fact going in debts doing all this he would go to big big healers and they will do this karmic release and you know ancestral curse release they think there is some black magic going on but believe me nothing was changing for them yeah so the, the whole, rings and the astrology see, work i i don't want to say that it doesn't work everything works everything is a science by the end of the day but okay. remember one thing you can't give your power away to something else outside okay you are the creator of your own life you are the creator of your own destiny and you can change by making a different choice so remember one thing if you're doing things and it's not working for you you have to do something else you have to look at a different perspective a lot of people keep doing the same thing over and over again for years and still things don't change but they are not ready to change a different perspective and this is where you have to start looking at things and say okay what else can i do here what else is possible here rather than going constantly doing the same thing so i would say do not give your power away to something like even karma like some i have a lot of people who ask me also oh, ashish you know so karma is res responsible for our suffering so if we are suffering in this lifetime that means we have done something terrible something really really wrong in another lifetime and that's why we are suffering that's absolutely rubbish please remember one thing karma is not a punishment karma is not about making you suffer yeah there are things that you have done in your life you only have to learn certain lessons out of it you only have to learn certain aspect out of it like forgiveness yeah you may be holding on to anger the moment you realize that oh i need to forgive this person everything is sorted out there yeah and that is what it is all about it's about an action you put out an energy that energy is going to come back to you yeah? yeah but it is not as a punishment it is to evolve you it is to make you realize and things will immediately shift so that is why you don't have to keep doing past life over past life over past life you can resolve everything by getting an awareness oh this is what probably is going on in my life and i would like to change it yeah that is what we spoke about karmic relationship also last time but ashish just say they say ki like whatever karmas you've done in this life you have to pay for it in this life so that's exactly what i'm saying that's no. not the truth okay 
yeah that's a lie that's a lie that you have been bought you mm-hmm. know like oh you have to keep suffering and now because you've done so many wrong things now you have to keep doing this you have to do this puja you have to keep yeah. chanting for 13 14 hours how does this resolution happen immediately why are so many people seeing magic in a week's time yeah because it's just an acknowledge that they have to do okay so you know i have to change this this is my yeah. responsibility mm-hmm. so i don't have to put that in somebody else's you know code yeah i don't have to blame somebody else for this so whatever is going on i'm taking 100% responsibility and i'm changing it it has nothing to do with anybody else and that acknowledgement itself brings the change you know i've been doing this for as i said almost 11 years you know that is what i love about access consciousness is one of the modalities but it empowers you to make choices it empowers you to change situations rather than going to the wrongness of you if anybody tells you that oh it's your karma and they make you feel wrong about it it's a lie don't buy that yeah and always remember one thing anything that you hear if it empowers you it's a truth but if it disempowers you it's a lie yeah so if somebody tells you oh ye shani hai you know this you know it's going on in your life and for the next seven and a half years you know it's going to trouble you and you're going to go through a lot of hardship and struggle you won't get a job and you know you will try but you will not you know get success and all now when you listen to all this does it feel empowered or disempowered disempowered so when it is a disempowering statement it's a lie do not buy the lie because the moment you buy the lie you pick down the fear yeah so stop buying the fear of this reality it everything that you hear which is fear based is a lie you can actually go and change that aspect so please take 100% responsibility and there is nothing like a punishment there is nothing like you know suffering yeah. we are not come here to suffer yeah we think that you know we have come on this earth plane to suffer listen we all are spirits we actually have come here on this plane to go through certain in life no yes we have made certain choices before we've come here and but the good part is you can always make another choice so now is the time when you can actually make another choice yes if you made choices in the past to struggle you don't have to stick on to it forever you just make a different choice right now the moment you make a different choice a different possibility opens up for you so every time you make a new choice a new possibility will open up for you so you don't have to go on your life with the old choices that you're making so that is my next thing 100% responsibility and the third thing is you should always always if you want to change something in your life you should always keep asking question so if there is a new opportunity that is coming ask what else is possible here what else is possible that i haven't considered yet when you keep asking questions you are not coming to any conclusion you don't come to any computation ki if i do this this will happen if you decide on something like there are few people they are like oh you know i am an atheist i don't believe in all these things or i believe in these things you know the moment you start getting your own decisions inside based on maybe your religion based on something that you have learned based on something that you have done then you cannot change it yeah if you say even before trying if you say oh this doesn't work if you dismiss something will it work for you yeah and this is where you have to see how to keep changing is always being the question never coming to a conclusion never deciding anything like this whole corona virus came in and everybody is like i don't know what's going to happen they already start projecting things they already already start oh now my finances is going to go down now my job is not going to be secure then you are going to create that in your universe because you are already projecting all those things rather ask a positive question how can i use this to my advantage what else is possible here what else is possible that i haven't considered keep asking question what else is possible then what will happen is when you are asking question suddenly this doors of possibility will open up new opportunities will come and you'll wonder where is this coming from yeah is because you are asking the question remember one thing there is one thing that is there in the bible is there in so many books which is called ask and you shall receive when you ask the universe you will receive but what you're doing is you're already putting the limitation correct yeah so if you're already putting the limitation where would you get it from correct. yeah so you have to have a very open mind like a clean slate so my first thing if you want to change your life yes do a lot of hope on upon because a lot of you know clearing takes place of your past yeah and second thing is make the demand come what may i'm going to change this about my life you have to have a commitment to your own self if you want to change something in your life 
you have to commit to your own self the change and the change will 100% take place yeah. the second yeah. thing is 100% responsibility no blame to anybody not your husband not your mother in law not all the astrology you know yeah. people are funny you know yeah. they say that mera naam hi galat hai my name is only wrong so they'll go adding things to the name correct correct i mean come on you have the perfect name when you're born there are no accidents yeah. Yeah. everything is in alignment but because you start buying all the lies then you start in it so you really don't have to do anything like that but you just have to have the trust and faith that no i can change things and with that confidence you will see things changing but please take 100% responsibility the moment you have a reason and justification of why things are not working for you you cannot change it yeah so this is where if you if you are going to start a new project and then you already write down but you know these are the challenges this is it you are already putting reasons and justifications for a failure yeah i always had this right from my childhood you know like the midas touch that everything i touch turns into gold <laughs> I I loved that when I heard it as a child and I started thinking that everything I touch should turn into gold and believe me that is what my life has been whatever I do I become successful because my point of view is that yeah I don't have the point of view about failure and I don't have the point of view about you know I don't have those beliefs only yeah I'm like okay you see so please make a choice people fear making a choice yeah because if they make a choice they always want to make the right choice but i'm like make a choice so what if you make a choice and it doesn't work for you what can you do no oh, ashish in fact like what you have been telling about asking question i i just um, attended one interesting startup uh, elevation class okay and they were saying almost something similar but that's what starting a new brand or a successful brand how you become successful and they told us think out of the box don't assume that Correct. if this has happened this is going to happen that's all the exactly. programming we have done okay think that what is whatever you think cannot be done probably can be done everything is opposite to what it is actually absolutely so they made us actually write 101 question what do you think cannot happen <laughs> and write it down that it can happen how it can happen so then you think out of because you're programmed like that and something exactly. similar to what exactly you, you know unfortunately you know we are program we are program for failure we are program for you know not being successful and we are like those you know it's funny that you know when you get a new mobile we put all the programs that we require we get a laptop we all so you know when we are born when the baby is born all the programs are put in by the parents by the society by the reality yeah. and the child starts living life based on those programs but this is a time when you have to deprogram yourself you have to reboot your whole system you know and you truly can have success you truly can have fun in life you can truly have everything that you desire but you have to change your programming and now Ashish, is the time the when you first, have to take that action ashish the first question i want to know i mean i want to remove this programming so what should be my question i want see, to remove all this programming so first and foremost you don't have to first believe that it's true for you yeah the okay. moment you make that choice that yeah this is a lie yeah why am i living this lie yeah i want to change that that okay. acknowledgement itself will help you change the program okay. and okay. of course there are certain steps and tools you know like as i said access consciousness is one of the best ones you know where it helps you you know learn things of how oh, to yes, change it's fantastic i've done with you yeah and yes. there are so many other things also you know so you yes. see what works for you but first at least that awareness should be there yeah. there are so many people who are just suffering 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 and they think they don't have a choice but remember one thing you always have a choice you have a choice to keep suffering or you have a choice to change what is it that you would like to choose is up to you yeah okay. so, so three people, things to change remember yes. that oh yes so i i'll remember that first is like choosing then taking the responsibility and then asking questions all the time all, all the, the time, time. All the time. So, so while we are all in this corona thing and we have so many assumption that we lose the job or we've already probably lost the job so what would be the right question to ask at this time see let me tell you one thing yeah i always talk about the universe i always talk about beyond this reality whatever you're thinking whatever you're feeling whatever your fears are you're putting out in the universe and that is what you're going to keep attracting yeah so first and foremost if you're going to keep projecting fear based thoughts you know oh life is going to be difficult now we have to take care of our finances and all of that that is what you're going to create in your life 
rather than projecting anything rather than deciding on anything just keep an open mind and keep asking question okay what else is possible how do i use this to my advantage that's a better question to ask how do i use this situation to my advantage i've had people who have done classes with me even before the lockdown and in between we had uh, you know a zoom call and i have so many people who attended the money class and you know they done the foundation with me and they said you know what ashish sitting in the house we have created more money than i used to go earlier you know so because they were only using the tools so my my thing is stop projecting what will happen in the future live in the now be open keep asking question and i always keep saying have a trust in the universe the universe has your back I always keep saying, even if things are not working for you the way you want it to work, just trust that the universe has your back. And if you have that trust, then you see how things will work for you. Wow, amazing! I'm uh, sure, like the tips you have given, the three mantras basically to change our lives is going to change lives of many people. So, thanks, Ashish, cool. and and I think. uh the three mantras i think we all will remember first making the choice then taking the responsibility of our lives whatever thing is happening and third asking questions to the universe and to our own self how we can change the situation yeah and also remember one thing asking a question by why is not a good question to ask yeah okay yeah why is my life like okay. this why is my situation because then you're going into the loop okay okay yeah you only have to ask a open ended positive question like you know what will it take for this to change okay. or you know then what else is possible what else is possible that i haven't considered yet these are the question that you ask okay. i always keep i wake up in the morning and i ask one question to the universe okay universe show me the magic today wow what magic can i see today that's it and believe me every day there's something that's magical or miraculous that happen in my life and it's amazing to see that yeah so just remember one thing you know the universe is listening to you all the time you only have to have that that whole positive aspect with that yeah and again i'm saying trust trust you're not here to suffer yeah you you know i always keep saying what if your life was all about fun and ease and joy and that is what it should be okay so related to even the financial limitations people are facing every day so yeah. it's about again asking what can i do to change this situation absolutely how do i change the situation what can i do to change the situation again what else is possible you know finances you know maybe one day we should talk about it you know like the yes. money class that i do yeah. money is the easiest thing to change i keep saying that because your point of view creates your reality and money has no point of view about you it doesn't say i want to go only to ashish i don't want to go to sonia <laughs> i don't want to go money doesn't think anything yeah we have so many judgments point of view and if we are able to change that your relationship with money changes you know and wow. that's that's the whole thing right now everybody is buying this point of view about hardship and difficulties and struggle and life is going to be difficult now if that is what you believe that is what is going to be yeah so yeah. you have to change that belief or the point of view that you have so that you create a different reality for yourself as i constantly keep saying you are the creator of your own reality nobody else you can create the way you would like to see your life as nobody else is responsible for that wow all right yeah amazing ashish thank you so much and um, so we'll keep asking question what will it take for our life to be easy and yes one more important question what will it take for have another session with ashish <laughs> with money what will it take for that to happen so thank you ashish thank you for being thanks here. thank you sonia and i hope this helps your viewers and i hope this helps people around the world and yeah yes. and things can change for them for sure i'm sure thank you ashish thank you so much and see you sometime see you thank you thank yeah. you bye thank you. bye 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 bye, bye. bye, bye.